Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about what to do when you get rejected during your cold approaches. This is definitely going to happen to you as you're out there interacting with people. It's just the nature of the beast and um, hopefully your your rate of rejection goes down over the course of time as you get better at, at uh, doing all these things I'm talking about, especially the, the whole reading of the girl's energy before you even ask for her number or you do anything further. Once you get really good at that, the cool thing is that you almost won't get rejected at all anymore because you're not going to throw it out there if the energy's not there and you don't have to worry about getting rejected based on your, your read on a situation if you feel that somebody's not feeling you. So that's that's a cool level to get to. But I did some talks a while back on that specifically. I, I'm going to circle back and try to make a few more talking about that once again. It's such an important point that many of us overlook as we're out there doing this stuff. But the topic of today is, is like I said, I just wanted to explain a little bit more, remind you what you what you do when you get rejected. Well, first and foremost, you always, 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 no matter what happens, you need to leave the situation cordially. You know, let's say you make, an, uh, you make an attempt at exchanging contacts and she comes back and says anything to the tone of she's not interested, she's got a boyfriend, or she's not, any number of things. You'll hear all kinds of stuff and it's fine. But a rejection is a rejection. But, but as I said, even if for some reason this is a person that's being rude to you, oftentimes it's not the case. Oftentimes it's just you, know, you exchange pleasantries with people as long as you're being pleasant. And uh, they'll politely tell you no. But all that I'm saying is here is no matter how your situation plays out, you always be cordial. You always be polite. You always have to remind yourself that, yes, this is a complete stranger you've, you're, you've just approached and you're talking to. And... To some extent, it could be said that you know maybe you're you're interrupting them a little bit upon their day because they didn't they didn't ask to talk to you. You you just kind of came up and volunteered your presence or offered up some of your time. So just keep that in the back of your mind and, and just always politely leave the situation. You know, okay, you know that's that's fine or that's uh, I understand. Yeah, no problem, no no big deal. Well, have a, have a nice rest of your day. Enjoy your day. You know, take care. It was nice chatting with you. Whatever you want to say, just just be polite. Be pleasant. There's no reason to, to be rude to somebody that rejects you. I think that's just part about being a being a nice person or a normal person in life, and not getting um, not getting so butthurt. Let's say in these situations, <laughs> yeah, rejection sucks. But all of what I just said, it it certainly adds up, and you need to keep all those things in the back of your mind and move move on, move about your day. And that's kind of the second piece here that I wanted to remind you of, guys, is that once again, I had done a talk a few days ago where I was relating the, the male brain and the male psychology and the male style of interaction to that of a computer, or in other words, ones and zeros. And we're, we're just wired to work like an on-off switch. You know, hey, things either work out or they don't. It's on or it's off. It's, you know, it's black or it's white. It's a one or a zero, as I said. And that's how you need to handle these rejections. And I, I know firsthandedly, I mean, I've had instances where I got kind of excited talking to a woman for five or ten minutes. And then after all that said and done, after all, even her giving me like positive vibes and smiling and, and making me think in my mind that, you know, there might be something there. You know, at the very end of it, she'd, she would come back and, and uh, reject me for whatever reason. And you walk away from those situations with a little bit of dent in your ego, let's say, and, and yeah, there's there's some letdown and that you're kind of bummed out that you didn't succeed in what you were after that day, but of course there's a way for all of us to want to hang your, your head about that, and you, you kind of dwell on it for the rest of the day, or at least I have in the past, where you're just like, oh man, you just, you're bummed out, you're, you're just, you wished it worked out, you wish something would have happened, and you, you carry that with you the rest of the day, but all that I'm saying here, and the point of, of all of this talking that I'm doing is that every single time you have a situation like that you just need to look at it like a one or a zero and that situation was a zero it didn't hit and you just need to remind yourself to, to hey you're gonna have to keep continuing to circulate and going out there in the world and, and finding other situations and seeing if there's ones or zeros and other people out there that the endless abundance of people that are walking the face of the earth there's going to be some options that work out for you and there's going to be some that don't and those are the zeros and those are those instances where you get rejected that's just a zero it's nothing more than that don't hang up too long about it. Don't get wrapped up on it. Don't let it ruin the rest of your day. Just take it for what it is. Take the interaction as practice. Appreciate that small little moment that you shared with this person, whoever they were, and go on. Move on. Just just as quickly and as simply and as efficiently as possible is, is all that I'm trying to say here. Don't, don't snag up and dwell up and hang up and all this kind of stuff. Just 
When you start to have those thoughts and feelings going through your mind, I just want you to think about ones and zeros. And I want you to think about the situation. Was it a one? Was it a zero? If it was a zero, there's nothing you can do about it, right? No matter how much dwelling you do, no matter how bummed out you are about the best of the day, that moment is gone, that person's gone. Odds are you're never going to see them again in your entire life on this planet and just move on as quickly and as efficiently as possibly as you can. Just like ones and zeros, like binary code. Okay. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.